Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL Premium. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with a cinnamon brown leather interior. It features 21 inch alloy wheels, that larger front end, the R-line front end on the car with the larger air intakes and uh, the chrome and uh, piano black treatments on the base. Also, you have body colored paint on the, under the chrome line and under the bumper chrome on this vehicle. The quad faux exhaust tips, oversized reflector on the back there. This particular one does have factory added hitch extras, which include a seven pin adapter and actually the tow hitch and ball. That's not standard, but this one has it. It says SEL V6 on the back. Also has those LED tail lights with that distinctive design there. Keyless entry on all four doors. Nice sweeping line over the wheel arches from the tail lights and under the door handles. I might add rain sensing wipers on this one as it's drizzly today. I'm still making the video, so the wipers are going there too. You might see that. Um, and then these headlights are LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all weather lights, fog lights are gone, and that three rib design on the front grille there. Let's take a look inside. Here's a look at that cinnamon brown interior. Three seat memory right here, lumbar support right here. Forward and back here, and then a seat back here. These are leather seats, so they're gonna be heated and ventilated. Uh, they have a black two-tone feel to them here. Uh, so you're gonna have black along the side, bold white stitching here, up the bolster, and right here behind the shoulders. Adjustable headrest right there, it's manual, with the white stitch continuing there. And as you look through the back there, there's that two-tone continuing through there. Black headliner as well. Two-tone in the inset and the doors there with that premium stitching. Here's a closer look on this side here. This pad right here is that cinnamon brown color as well. So as we climb inside here, we'll see here that nice premium stitching there. Power folding mirrors, heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down as usual. And the power lift gate back here so I can actually open the lift gate pan around slowly here and then I can actually close that by lifting up and holding that lever very nice setup there and we do also have Volkswagen's digital cockpit right here you have three different views that you can use there there's the dial screen there's the wide screen and then of course the crop screen and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the navigation over here so I'm gonna change it to where it goes into the instrument cluster and now it's there. That way you can see these displays a little different, how they look. There's your crop screen, there's your wide, I'm sorry, your dial screen, and then there's your wide screen right there. So it does say being an R-Line, it's gonna have this R-Line logo down here in the, in the tray. Also the fastened seat belt sign, heated steering wheel, and the green shoe, which tells you that if you mash on the gas, you're not gonna kill anyone because you're either in park or neutral. Um, and then it also has air temperature right here clock right here and your front assist is operating in the background it's ready to go just not active and then also your compass right there fuel gauge is off to the right right here temperature gauge is over here to the left kind of hard to see there it is automatic headlights so you've got that with your all-weather lights as well you just pull out on this guy right here to turn those on they're like your fogs and then you have a coin box for storage down here Right above that, the telescoping steering wheel. It's a manual adjust. Pull in, push out, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. On the steering wheel, flat bottom leather wrap steering wheel with the sporty grip on the sides. That's only on the R-Lines. The new Volkswagen logo in the center. This is one of few cars that actually has the new logo on it. Uh, most things don't seem to be getting that until 2022, perhaps. Um, the ID4 will have it from the start. Um, down here three wheel sp or three spoke wheel right here with the flat silver finish uh, you have all your buttons up here your travel assist button is right here so um, and then your uh, cruise control button is right here right here and then you have the display right here that shows the cruise control is active uh, volume control for the stereo is right here this car does have wireless car play as well I'll get to that in a second, but your song skip and preset skip is right here. Heated steering wheel is right here. 
Here's your mouse operation here. So this allows you to change between different displays here. So just by hitting the left tab or the right tab, doesn't matter. I can do either one and I can switch through. So this one here with the driving data, I can now hit this up or down arrow right here and change what's displayed here as well. So sometimes when you're driving, you're gonna accidentally bump something and go, hey, how did I get that there? This is how you fix it. So uh, fuel range, of course, and then speed. Speed is the most popular. There you go. Now you have that set. And I'm just gonna go back to where I have the navigation map up. There you go. And again, the view button is gonna change how this is displayed here. Crop screen, dial screen, or widescreen. I personally like the widescreen. Stainless steel covered pedal caps down here. Uh, and here's a look at the radio. The radio in this car is going to be an MIB3 radio. We'll bring that back to radio over here. So I got AM, FM, and satellite right here. I also have gesture control. This little hand right here, that icon tells me that our gesture control is active. It's waiting for me to wave my hand in front of the screen. I can do uh, preset changes, preset menu changes. I can swipe through that. You have 36 different presets. Part of the stereo system is this speaker right up here. Nice speaker uh, uh, added sound up there. This little storage tray right here. On this radio, it's AM, FM, and satellite, as I said. Navigation is right here. It's new school uh, navigation now. It's an updated, it doesn't use an SD card. It's running from behind the head unit here. There's the status bar right here. And then also I have the compass here. Um, for the backup camera, it's a fantastic camera with trajectory steering. So I turn the wheel left or right. There's the wheel turning right there. You see the yellow line moving accordingly. The green line stays put. The red line signifies where the bumper is. And then also I have on App Connect, if I can get to come up here, I'm running wireless Android Auto right now. With that phone down there, it's actually charging in the wireless charger. And this is coming off of my phone. So I've got YouTube music playing in the background here. It's turned all the way down. You can't hear it. So I don't have any copyright issues there or anything. But uh, there's the map. Uh, if I wanted to do the navigation map from here over to here, I can do that. Uh, very nice setup there. Also, I have Google uh, functionality on the steering wheel. I can press and hold this button here to bring up Google. And if I'm running an iPhone, I press and hold this button here and get Siri. Um, also, um, wireless mirror link and wireless carplay if i didn't mention those already uh two usb-c connections right there that are backlit so you can actually see them even when you're trying to plug in in the dark and there's actually a reflection on the face of my phone right there that's why it looks like you see maybe four but there's only two and there's a 12 volt char charger port right there um gone is the auxiliary port but you can charge your phone my phone's charging with a mophie case on it face up right here uh, this radio is going to be Fender Audio, uh, Fender Premium Audio, so there's going to be a subwoofer. There's your Fender logo right there, and also over here. So you have that on the, door, on the door speakers. Down here in the glove box, they have removed the CD player. So now you have uh, just storage for your manuals here in the regular glove box. You do have storage for SD cards right here, but there is no SD card player. They left those, but they got rid of the SD card reader in the car for both navigation and music. Right here, carbon fiber finish on the dash. It does continue into the doors with that plain silver finish right around it on the surround. There's a look again at that armrest with the cinnamon brown color here and in the inset and that premium stitching there as well. Here's a closer look at the seats. They're heavily perforated. They're heated and ventilated. So I can turn those both on at the same time. There's a fan in that seat as well. Um, so you do have dual zone climate zone here. And then on the menu options here, I do have now for 2021, they've changed this to where it doesn't do the whole cabin, it does the front half and the back half separately. So I do still have air care. Air care now requires you to check the box. There'll be a little blue line that shows up right here and expands through the cabin that shows that it's filtering the air. So if you have allergens or you're sensitive to pollutants in the air and a stinky landfill or something like that, um, you can actually filter out the air before it circulates in the cabin. And then also you've got front and then uh, I haven't figured out how to do the rear yet, but you can change it to rear. Uh, there is also your fan speed right there. You can adjust that. 
and then your rear defrost I'm sorry your front defrost settings here that's for your vents you can change all of that right here on the screen or of course bring it up down here and change it as well um, now for um, oh you know why you can't do rear this is a cross board this is not an atlas a, a three row that's why okay so cup holders right here there's your knob right there your shift knob for uh, all-wheel drive you have the snow modes the uh, eco normal sport and custom modes and then off-road off-road allows me to tweak what's displayed here so I can actually go adjust and I can change hill descent I can turn it on and off I can change those things as well um, and then if I go back to the snowflake now the snowflake is right here now I have my snow driving mode this puts me in all-wheel drive on all four wheels uh, with accumulating snow that's how that's gonna work um, and then I can change the mode back to the roadway and I can also push this button right here and that's gonna give, give me eco normal sport or custom right here on the screen most people are gonna do either normal or eco uh, and then for storage we're gonna look in here I have this nice big storage bin here just like the regular size Atlas uh, this is gonna give me lots of storage for uh, maybe a, a purse a medium purse or something like that Amazon also sells a drop-in bin that you can put in here and Volkswagen also sells a safe now that you can put in here maybe put a small gun or, or uh, firearm in here um, and then also there's a USB-C connection right there so let's take a look at the back seat as we come out here this window sticker is going to be all wet let's see here so this one comes in this one comes in at 52,500. If you can see that right there, 52,500 bucks. The extras on this one are going to include the MDO package for 760 bucks. Kind of hard to see there. Also right here for 325, the trailer hitch extras. That's the tow hitch and ball. And then also for another 195 bucks, you get a third year free maintenance on this car. This car came from another dealer, so that's why it has that on there. The cars that we get at our dealership don't have that because we do give you three years of free maintenance already um, so we don't have to have you uh, pay for it uh, but on this car unfortunately it's already in this window sticker so you end up paying for that as we climb in here this being an SEL premium it's going to have a sunshade right here if I can do this with one hand I'll be great I can't get that one to stay up but it does have a sunshade right there that's the, the uh, horrors of being your own cameraman. These seats are also heated here. These are leather. All of these seats are real leather. Uh, this middle seat here, though, is going to be uh, leatherette. Uh, here's your fold-down armrest here, squishy yet firm. Cup holder right there in the middle. Here's a look at that seat. That cinnamon brown again. Latch hookups for the car seats are right here and right here. These little slits right here, you just reach down and then there's a metal bracket in there to hook to seating wise this seat is super comfortable it's reclined right now I'm sitting here I have easily six inches of knee space right here absolutely and in incredible that I have that much space so I'm gonna actually bring this seat up a little bit there we go here's a look at the door inset more premium stitching speakers right there let's see if I can get this sunshade to go up with one hand yep got it so you have that on both rear seats here. That's uh, only on uh, the SEL Premium and the Atlas Cross Sport. Up here, you do have a panoramic sunroof. I'm not gonna open it, but I'm gonna open that sunshade there. It's a power sunshade. Part of the MDO package is gonna be that mirror right there, that edgeless auto dimming mirror with the digital compass right there. Three door garage door memory right there at the base of it. And then up here, you have a vanity mirror with an LED light. You have that on both sides. Very nice setup there. So you have one over there as well. I'm trying to do this from the back seat, so I'm a little more clumsy with it. There's a look at your giant panoramic sunroof right there. It covers the entire cabin all the way through to the front. There's a look at the center console down to the armrest right there. Also back here in the back seat, these seats are heated as well. So you do have three phase heated seats here's your vents right here vent control here down below I do have two USB C's right there and then over here on this side I do have a three prong plug in right there too so I can charge a laptop while I'm driving here's a look through to the front again 
There's your instrument cluster right there. And then those stainless steel pedal caps down below. Now look at the cinnamon brown seats. Very nice setup there. Now let's take a look at the rear hatch. As we climb out here, this being an R-Line has those 21 inch Brazelton wheels. Power lift gate on the back. Here's a look through from the back. End of the car right there, giant panoramic sunroof. True five seater there. Rain sensing wipers again. They're speed sensitive as well. Here's a look at all of your cargo space here. Monster mats right here. Cargo cover right here. Cargo blocks below that right up there. And here is that trailer hitch tow, the tow hitch ball. As I showed you already, it has a seven pin adapter as well. Trunk lights off to the side. Recessed area right here, 12 volt charger port right there. Bag hooks right here and also right here. So I'm gonna close this up here. Here's a look at that giant panoramic, or I'm sorry, that uh, giant hatch, that cargo area right there. As you can see guys, this is a beautiful car. That pure white color really pops with those wheels. Also this one, uh, does come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years 50,000 miles Two years of free maintenance are included from Volkswagen. However, this car does have a third year of prepaid maintenance So you got three years from Volkswagen on this one If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're also going to give you a 10-year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge 10 years 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty if you're interested in this car or any other, please give me a call at 636-290-4257. That's 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Stay healthy.